Now, one person who we never saw anything from in the trailer for season 2 of Ghost was Tube, but he still remains very much a part of the Power Book 2 Ghost world, for now anyway. We're yet to see the aftermath of him collecting from Tariq, which I do think will happen pretty much in the first episode. But what happens next with his character? Because he can't keep on collecting money from Tariq, because as we all know, Tariq will have plenty of other problems that he needs to pay for himself. There's Davis McLean who's going to be his new defense attorney, and he's also going to be seeking help from Sax and Rashad Tate. Not to mention his trouble with Yaz, his love life with Lauren, Effie and Diana, and all of his other problems that he's going to have. So you can say Ghost definitely hasn't made his life easy by wanting him to graduate before he inherits any money. So Tubit is definitely one problem he could do without. So in this video, we're going to look at a brief history of Tubit's character, what's in store for him in Season 2 with Tariq, Cristobal and Tommy as well. But of course, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 2, Ghost and Power Universe related. But let's run through a brief history just to remind everybody what happened with Tubit's character at the end of Power and where we're currently at with Tubit's character in Power Book 2, Ghost. Now of course, he was arrested in Tommy's warehouse in Season 6, Episode 9 of Power, along with Spanky and Roberto. Spanky was of course killed by Tommy because he snitched to Blanca Rodriguez about looking out into Poncho's death. Roberto was never inside with Tubi and Spanky. After he made his phone call, he was never to be seen again. Cristobal, who Tubi also has a history with, was arrested and taken away along with Alicia Jimenez in Season 5, Episode 9 which will come to later on in the video when we talk about Cristobal and Tubit's beef. But fast forward to Power Book 2 Ghost. Tubit is still in prison and he was called as a witness to the Tasha St. Patrick case with Tubit making a deal with Cooper Sachs. But with the help of Davis McLean and Blanca Rodriguez, they both help him. They help him with what to say on the stand and what he can get away with because they both wanted to beat Cooper Sachs for their own reasons. So at the end of episode 6 in season 1, he walks a free man with Ghost Rolex, which he stole during the Truth Raid, where Ghost had to raise money to get Tariq back from Vincent, something which I think will eventually end up with Tariq, considering Tariq inherited Ghost's watch collection. But Ghost asked Tubit for a favour in exchange for money in episode 10, and this was to deal with Dre of course, which he burned him alive. So he came back to collect from Tariq instead, because Ghost is now dead, and the debt had been passed down to Tariq. As I said before, Ghost definitely didn't make Tariq's life easy for him. The first payment was 24k, which Tariq did make with the help of Effie, but then he wanted another 50k for saving his life as Stansfield in episode 8, when Bars was sent by Lil Guap and Kane. But this is something we never saw the aftermath of. The last we heard from Tubit in Power Book 2 Ghost was this text which he sent to Tariq, telling him that he was out of cash and he was going to come back and collect soon. But we never actually saw Tubit come back and collect, and you can bet that he will. Because I'm sure this is one of the many storylines which they'll revisit in probably the very first episode of Season 2. But what happens next with his character once he does come back and collect? Does he keep on extorting Tariq for money? Will he be in trouble with the law himself? Because Tariq didn't exactly wipe down this bar properly, which also had Tubit's fingerprints on as well. Or could he be working with Tariq and be this kind of mentor to him? I hope it is the last one where he'll become this mentor to Tariq because he definitely will have a lot of problems to deal with in Season 2 and he'll need the help of a lot of people, not just someone like Davis McLean, Sachs and Rashad Tate. The synopsis made reference to Tariq needing help from people who are in a position of power and influence, but what about the people who have a presence and influence in the streets? Tariq will need the help of this as well. We know he's going to be teaming up with Brayden and Effie again in Season 2, but he'll need some guidance from someone who's a lot more experienced than just those two. Because let's not forget, there is no Uncle Tommy, there is no Ghost, and the one person who he could count on in Season 1 for advice and help was Tasha, but she's in witness protection, so this is where I do think Tubit could help Tariq. Just like he did when he told him that he needs to wipe down everything that he touched, that's Tubit mentoring Tariq already. And this is a position which I would love to have Roller to actually play, because he's someone who Ghost loved. He brought Roller up in the streets and taught him everything that he knew. I do think he was someone who was killed a bit too soon in the Power Universe, and I think that role that Tubit could potentially be playing would have meant just that bit more if it was Roller, just because of his past that he has with Ghost and what he meant to him. But anyway, Tubit's here and Roller isn't, so what's going to happen next with him? I can definitely see him being this mentor to Tariq, but what happens at some point if he crosses paths with the Tohadas? Because if Tubit is in the streets and the Tohadas are, then surely at some point we could very well see them crossing paths. And I would really love to see a showdown between Kane and Tubit and them coming face to face. But let's talk about his beef with Cristobal, because Pagehead who plays Lauren did an interview recently where she said that there's going to be a few cameos of characters in season 2. One of them which we already know about is Cristobal, and it takes me back to how I mentioned the last time we saw him, he was taken away by the cops when Alicia Jimenez was arrested in Season 5 Episode 9. But did he really have any charges against him that would stick for him to still be in prison? Or would he be out free roaming the streets just like 2-bit? 
This is something I'm sure they're definitely going to address because there is definitely some unfinished business between these two characters. 2-Bit is as loyal as they come and after Dre promoted Crystal Ball, taking 2-Bit's place, after 2-Bit killed the Lorenzo in power, not the Lorenzo in Power Book 2 Ghost, there's been some animosity there between the two characters. So with Crystal Ball returning, they're surely going to meet at some point and we'll see 2-Bit versus Crystal Ball in the streets. Now, one way which Tariq could actually pay 2-Bit back is if he actually helps him in dealing with Crystal Ball, that would definitely put them on good terms. Unless Crystal Ball is in prison with Lorenzo, we're just gonna have to wait and see how they reintroduce his character. But with power, they always find a way to have a character released from prison if it serves the storyline and if it serves the story arc for that particular character. Oh, and one thing we definitely can't forget is Crystal Ball's role in Julio's death. So I do actually hope Crystal Ball is dealt with when he does return in season 2. But back to 2-Bit's character and his relationship with Tommy because I've raised the question before after season 1 finished, could we see 2-Bit crossing over to Power Book 4 Force and join Tommy in Chicago? Because we know one person who is crossing over and that's Blanca Rodriguez. She's been listed for the last episode of Power Book 4 Force. Why she's moving over to Force, I'm sure we'll find out. But it definitely could be because her career in New York is pretty much finished because of Cooper Sacks. So she could have coincidentally found her way to Chicago or she may have heard something about Tommy still being alive and roaming around doing business because she's someone just like Cooper Sachs who's ambitious about their career and made no secret about her desire to nail the St. Patrick's or Tommy. So it does make me wonder, does 2-Bit know that Tommy is still alive because I'm sure the amount of chaos and mayhem that he caused with the car chase and shooting up Monet's bar in Queens, he's bound to have heard that Tommy was back in town. Something that Joseph Sikora teased does make me think that he could have filmed a scene or two before he made his way to Chicago. So let me just play this short clip for you. Republic, any twist, blow, twist coming to the show? Um, well, we know that Tommy is on his way to California. And we know that this show, at least presently, is being filmed in Chicago. We don't know how much is filmed before he gets here. And we don't know if he's going to make it out of here. What's up, bro? So we know Tommy is currently in Chicago, but we don't know how much he's filmed before he gets there. And it does make me wonder whether he does go and meet 2-Bit after the graveyard scene and possibly even tell him to keep an eye on Tariq. 2-Bit could be his eyes and ears in New York because Tommy does know 2-Bit is someone who's loyal. Where Spanky snitched and got himself a deal, 2-Bit was happy to ride the rest of his time behind bars. So I do hope this is a reunion that we do see at some point, whether it's in Power Book 4 Force or Power Book 2 Ghost. I'm sure they'll address this little teaser that Joseph Sikora gave at the beginning of Force, or we may possibly start to learn a bit more about the timeline and events during the trailer for Power Book 4 Force, which I think will come at some point when Power Book 2 Ghost is on. But let me know your comments down below on what's next for Tariq. I'm sure we're going to see him collect from Tariq. But whether he stays and mentors him, whether he's killed off, or whether we could see this Tommy reunion, or Crystal Ball vs 2-Bit on Ghost, it's safe to say they could take 2-Bit's character in a lot of directions. So leave all your comments down below on 2-Bit. Any predictions for his character as well, drop them down below. And of course, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 2 Ghost and Power Universe related. But as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.